Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, eight figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today, I'm very excited. I heard about this company and this founder because I actually got a package delivered to me. Um, I interviewed the founder of Simple Squares, and I got the package. I'm like, this is this is good. I like this. And I looked, oh, it's shipped from ShipBob. So today we have Divi Galati, he's co-founder of ShipBob, and they, he started it with his partner, Drew Saxena. ShipBob provides automation and on-demand shipping and packaging for small businesses. They shipped out over 500,000 packages to date and growing fast. That's why he's in this office because I think he got kicked out of his office because they need the <laughs> space. Uh, they've raised over $5 million to date and serve businesses in Chicago, New York, and L.A. Divi, thanks for joining me. Oh, it's a pleasure. So, Divi, I always ask um, – about the software and tools, what software are people using that so that you know? Obviously, you see a lot of different e-commerce sellers. What are people using that's worked that other people should be using? Obviously, ShipBob. What else are people using, um, platform-wise or software to run their business? That's important. Uh, ShipBob is a game-changing software which everyone should use. <laughs> right. But uh, apart from being biased about the own software we've, which we've built. We've seen a lot of traction on Shopify. Yeah. Shopify is a platform that is easy to plug and play, and people, like a lot of our customers, have moved for Shopify or from other platforms really? as well. Just because of the ease of use and the flexibility it gives you. Yeah. So, Shopify is definitely, if you're still, if the listeners or the viewers are still trying to figure out which platform to use, Shopify yeah. is a definitely a good start, which is plug and play. Yeah. Any other integration partners that you found valuable because customers have mentioned them? Yeah. Uh, customers. So integration partners. We can have integrations on different levels. So we can have integrations with our e-commerce platforms. We can have integrations with accounting platforms, right. industry platforms. Right. But there are good partners everywhere. We love our partners. There are so many startups out there making life easier. So I mentioned Shopify is good for e-commerce, and there is something for accounting, Bench. They have done a great job in making accounting simple, yeah. and the other software. So on the CRM side, we use <coughs> CRM, Close.io. Really yeah. they've great, and they've actually visited our office as well. So these different tools are very helpful for a, soft, for yeah. a company like us who's growing and you don't want to build everything yourself. Yeah, yeah. To be two last questions. First, let's point people where should they check out shipbob.com and bob stands for bend over backwards. So how did you come up with the name? Yeah, so well, there are two stories to it. I can give you both sides of the story. <laughs> okay. Bob exists. So Bob uh, stands for bending over backwards. Right. You know? That means we are bending over backwards for our customer yeah. shipping needs. I like it. That's one story which we love to tell people. And there's another story. You have an uncle in India and his name is Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, okay. no. I wish that was the case. But the other story was we were looking at some other names like Ship Tiger, Ship Hawk, etc. We could not find it and we found Ship Bob. That was available. Or, that domain uh, was available? Yeah, ShipBob was the only thing available for $2.50 a year. Wow, ShipBob was available. I'm so surprised. Yeah, so that was the reason we went. You had to make it work. Yeah. And we created a persona who this Bob is. Bob is an average American person who's in middle class trying to help people, a small business owner probably. And that just became Bob. And with Ship, we just put a hat on the Bob and became Ship Captain Bob. (laughs) I love it. What's been... Last two questions to be what's been the lowest moment, a hard time that you push through cuz startups running a business it's not easy and then the proudest moment. Start with the what's been the lowest or hardest point in the journey so far. So 
definitely there are times when things are like going against you and you can't figure out how to manage everything. Right. And we've mostly had ups because we were lucky enough to have a great team here. But a low point was when we initially started fundraising. We were looking at different options on how to go about fundraising process and <clears throat> the market collapsed and then there were some companies in similar spaces that started shutting down earlier this year. That's scary. Yeah, and fortunately that did not impact us a lot, but that did impact the people around us and people were scared and there was skepticism in the air. Mm. And that somehow shook our confidence a little bit as well. We had our vision right, but we were not sure if that was the right time to go out and raise money. So that was sort of a low which we faced, but then it was followed by an immediate high by finding the right partner who had the same vision, and that's where Hyde Park came in. How did you meet them? So we knew Hyde Park throughout. So back in the day, like when we were raising a seed round, we finished raising, but then we got an introduction because Drew used to work for one of their portfolio companies earlier. Oh, really? So we just got an introduction, started talking to them, just kept in touch. And when we started raising Series A, we had a few conversations early on, and they were interested. So the fundraising in that climate was, was difficult, Very stressful. Difficult. Yeah, but we did not talk to so many people, but everywhere we would go, they'll first put in, us in the wrong bucket and our job was to just convince them that we don't fall in that bucket of like high burn companies who are just burning money without a vision yeah. and negative Because you have customers and you had, yeah. you had growth and yeah. Yeah, we had customers, we had growth and we had positive margins. Those are the three key ingredients for a startup to survive. Right. You just need to make money. So proudest moment so far with the company? The pro one of the proudest moments was the LA launch. LA so, launch. When was that? So we recently launched like three weeks ago. Yeah. We got the warehouse and like two years ago we had no idea if we'll even make through one year with the idea or one month. And two years later we opened our third warehouse, the biggest warehouse. And having three addresses in that warehouse, because right. they're just three huge buildings connected with each other, yeah. was a very proud moment for me to stand there and look look at what we've achieved. It is amazing. Yeah. In, in just a few years. What's different between the markets? Chicago, New York, LA? Do you find any big differences? There are huge differences, actually. So... There are supporters everywhere we go, but the difference is in the geography and the traffic and the demog demography. So if you think about Chicago, it's more condensed and the traffic situation is bad, but not that bad. So that allows us to have a lot more pickup clients in Chicago. But if you go to LA, it's so spread out and the traffic problem is so bad. It's hard for us to target the market with just one service or pickup. Yeah. That's why warehousing piece in it's LA is much more important for us. Got it. And New York, on the other hand, the property rates are so expensive, we'll <laughs> never be able to like be in this city <laughs> we'll get a big space. Just get an apartment and start off with the 800 square foot apartment. <laughs> it's probably more expensive than the warehouse in Chicago. Exactly. So just handling these three different markets has taught a lot to us in handling different sets of challenges. Yeah. What should we leave people with, Divi? What's a big lesson? Entrepreneurship. So the, the biggest lesson is don't take no as an answer and yeah. get used to rejections because that's what we did standing in line at the standing in front of the post office. As you mentioned, you would not give your credit card to anyone, but still, <laughs> right. not taking that no for an answer and taking that rejection with a pinch of salt and go to the next person with the same energy and try to convince them right. why we're changing the world and what's the vision yeah. in thirty seconds. That was a great challenge for us, but we made it through. We got great customers out of it who are still using us. So that would be one key takeaway for all yeah. the entrepreneurs out there. Right. Divi, congratulations with all the success with ShipBob. Everyone should check out ShipBob.com. Thanks, Divi. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jeremy. This was a really fun conversation. Great. Okay, take care. <laughs> <laughs>